Welcome back everyone. You may have installed iOS 15 and you want to go back down to iOS 14. Now as long as iOS 15 is in a beta form for the most part, you will be able to go down to iOS 14, but do keep in mind that this is not forever. There's going to be a point sometime in the future where iOS 14 is not signed by Apple anymore and you pretty much will not be able to downgrade to iOS 14. But this will really only happen once iOS like 15.0.1 officially comes out. So keep that in mind, but that's really the main thing to kind of keep in mind. Now, before we go further, although you can probably maintain most of the data on your phone, it's not a guarantee. You want to back up everything from your iOS 15 device, whether it's photos, videos, apps, just do a full iCloud backup or do a full iTunes or files app backup. That is going to be the best thing because in case something goes wrong and you remove everything from your phone, which I'll be honest, it happens way more often than you think. This is the most important part of the video do a backup and then continue on with this video don't think you can just get by because something's gonna happen you're gonna mess up your phone i guarantee you're better off doing a backup so now that you have done a backup what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the website which is also linked down below ipsw.me this is essentially a website that will go ahead and allow you to download the latest ipsw file which is essentially the iphone software file so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up that link and you want to note the specific iphone that you have so you want to click on the iphone panel and let's just say you had an iphone 10 that you wanted to go ahead and bring down we'll go ahead and choose which specific iphone 10 you have and then at that point what you want to do is you want to find the latest file that's signed so you you can see right here iOS 14.6 this is a signed file currently it's not going to be signed forever but this is the one that's signed right now you want to go ahead and download this specific file so it's going to take a while to download it's a pretty big file and what you want to do is you want to plug in your iPhone straight into your specific computer now once you do that your iTunes or files app will go ahead and bring up your specific device now you want to go ahead and click on the little update panel if you click on your phone you'll see two different options you'll see update and restore now what you want to do is you want to click on the option key on your specific device so hold down option and you want to click that update button you want to make sure you don't click on the other button you want to click on the update button while holding down the option key and you want to choose a basically a file window will open up after that IPSW file downloads you want to go ahead and click click on an IPSW file and it's going to show you a couple of different prompts. It's going to say, are you sure this and that? You want to just keep clicking yes or okay and agree and all those things. And you may have to type in your iCloud password again. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. And after a while, you will see that your iPhone will now actually get back into the updating panel. And you will see after about an hour or two that everything will be upgraded or downgraded per the version of the IPSW file that you installed. And that's essentially all you have to do. You And all you have to do is wait until your iPhone comes back to life and you can start using your iPhone as you normally would. Now, if something goes wrong, you still have that backup that you made earlier that you can always restore from using iTunes. But also you may see that some of your apps may not work properly. This is very common. All you want to do at this point is you want to back up your iPhone on iOS 14.6. And then you want to factory reset your specific device and then restore that backup that you made for 14.6 and then everything will start working fine again you know because there were a lot of issues with you know the messages being updated facetime being updated you may have to downgrade your watch as well if you have an apple watch but that's essentially how you do it if you guys have any other questions or into any other issues let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that helps me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace out till then.